homework 11.5. Uh, had a couple of questions on this. If you have any more questions, please bring them up to me so I can work some of these problems out. Uh, we're dealing with surface area of prisms and cylinders. Number four, number four is actually a trapezoid prism. Okay. The main thing we have to do here is we need to find out who the bases are. For number four, it's a trapezoid base. All right, we have one base right here, and then we have the one that's right behind it. Okay, so those are my two bases. The reason you need to know who those are simply because once you pinpoint the two bases, your height is going to be the distance between them. Okay. Those lines you did not highlight. Oh, look, that number eight. This is your height for a prism. You need for your formula the height of the prism, the perimeter of the base, and you're going to add. 2 times base area. So you need the height, we just found out, is 8. The perimeter, well that perimeter is going to be the distance of or the distance around that trapezoid. So this right here is congruent to this one, which is congruent to this one, so we have 14. So if I were to draw a trapezoid, this is 14, this is 14. This right here is this piece right here. And we have here 19, 19, so we have all of our sides of the trapezoid. So if I were to add that up, that's 28 plus 5, plus 19, we're looking at 52. So we have this, we have this, all we need now is the B. Okay? So how do we get the area, or the big B? Well, the big B we got to get his area. We got to get the area of that trapezoid. All right, that's my big B. So how do I do that? What's the area formula for a trapezoid? Well, the area of a trapezoid is one half times adding base one plus base 2 and multiply it times the height of that trapezoid. If we look in that picture, they give us the height of the trapezoid. 12.1. So we have one half base 1, it doesn't really matter, we can say base 1 is 5, base 2 is 19, and my height is going to be 12.1. All of these multiplied together equal So, we have everything we need for that formula, for that equation. So, let's get rid of this here so that we can work out our problems. Alright, so, surface area is equal to H times P plus 2 times capital B. Fill in. What is H? 8. What is P? 
52 plus 2 times 145.2. If I put this directly into my calculator, Eight times fifty two plus two times one forty five point two get a total of seven hundred and six point four feet squared. All right, the next question was on section or homework eleven point six. Question number 11. It's actually a really good question. It's one of the word problem questions. I'm glad it was asked. Um, we're solving for slant height. Okay. So we need to remember our formula for a cone. Surface area equals pi r squared plus pi r slant height. You have to remember L equals slant height. That's what we're trying to solve for. So let's see what they give us in that problem. 11 says they give us a diameter, the cone has a has a diameter of 10. We already know that radius is half the diameter, so my radius for this problem is equal to 5. They also give us the surface area, 290.6. So they give us the radius of 5, and they give us the surface area of 290.6. We're going to substitute. So let's do that. Two ninety point six equals pi. The radius is five squared plus pi times the radius is five slant height. Okay, so let's continue working this out. 290.6 is equal to, and I'm going to put the number in front of the pi, plus, and then 5 pi L. This is algebra, guys. Okay, so we're going to move everything. The variable we're solving for is this guy right here. That means we're going to do this at the end. So what we're going to do now is, well, this needs to be subtracted. 25 pi. 25 times pi is a number. So what is 290 minus 25 pi? Well, it's 290.6 minus... And just put it in your calculator in parentheses, 25 times 3.14, and you get a sum of 212.1 equals, these are gone, and all I have left is 5 pi slant height. We're solving for him, which means these two... This is one number because 5 times pi is going to give us a separate decimal. This is one full number. These two guys are multiplying. So if I want to get rid of 5 pi, I'm going to have to divide by 5 pi. I'm going to have to divide this side by 5 pi. That gets rid of him, leaving me with my slant height. So what is 212? Point one divided by parentheses 5 times 3.14 those of you that don't have a scientific calculator and you get a total of and round to the nearest hundred 13.51
If you have any other questions, feel free to put, post them on private comments or just on the instruction comments, and I'll be glad to go over any of these problems for you. Hopefully, this helps.